Hi, welcome to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to be unboxing Silent Victory U.S. Submarines in the Pacific, 1941 to 1945. This is from GMT Games, and uh, it's the second printing of this version. It's in the same series as The Hunters, uh, which was from the German point of view, shooting down Allied supply uh, ships. And this is the uh, when the U.S. came into uh, the war and uh, began to control the Pacific um, with their submarine fleet. So one plays from the German side, this one plays obviously from the U.S. side. I was not a big fan of the Hunters, so I'm hopeful that uh, in this case getting to play quote-unquote the good guys will make this a lot more enjoyable from my point of view. If you're from Germany, then you probably want to play the other guys as the good guys. But uh, I know people love the series. It's kind of like B, uh, B-17 Queen of the Skies and other games like that where it's a, you basically can play a mission in a setting. It's just it's rolling dice, looking up on tables, making a few decisions, and, and building a career, uh, you know, managing your sub and a crew. So let's take a look at what you get inside and not review the game. It is a solo designed game, which is awesome. So it's designed by Gregory Smith, who's been doing a lot of games, mil uh, military simulation games, con sims, in the, uh, of late. And uh, usually on this kind of same line, different, not just subs, but uh, planes, uh, so on and so forth. So, all right, we're going to get the rules of play. It's always on top first. So we have a 28-page rule book. Looks very dense in terms of text. It's very fine text as well. Um, there's some pictures here at the beginning that, that kind of guide you through what you're seeing, but then the rest is a lot of rules. But it's not a very, I don't believe it's a very difficult game to learn. Uh, Hunters was not. Um, and you can just step through it systematically, so and then you get to optional rules. So you only have 22 pages of Real rules, apparently you can play it as a two-player game if you want to. So, that is the rule book. Alright, then you're going to get a small sheet of counters here. They look like your target ships. You've got the Akagi, the Chuyo, Fuso. I'm probably mispronouncing these horribly. Uh, large tankers, small tankers, freighters, so on and so forth. Passenger ships. So you get those counters. They give you the tonnage. And then you get your other sheet of regular counters. These are, you know, the standard punch and probably round with the organ laminations, 2.5 millimeter corner rounder. Uh, these are half inch counters, unfortunately. So I hate half inch counters, but they probably fit on the on the boards. But uh, so you got torpedoes, you've got uh, damage stations, metals, uh, various crew, crew status, uh, so on and so forth. So. A lot of blank space, so it's not a very counter dense game here. All right, and then we get some sh some boat cards. Um, these are your reference sheets for your different uh, submarines. There are let's see, there's five very heavy cardstock uh, sheets, and they are double sided. They are full bleed, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we have the porpoise. The narwhal, the salmon, these are classes, tambor class, gato class, you can name your boat whatever you want to, the tench class, argonaut, baleo, gar, and gato, uh, is there already a gato? Two gatos, <laughs> domo arigato. Anyway, uh, so we got that, and then we've got some reference cards here. They're all bound together. Take a look in there. What did you get? Okay. We have a map for submarine combat. This looks very familiar to the Hunter's version. Uh, it's one-sided, obviously. You should have that. You've got a Control area map, I believe. This is for the South Pacific, and this is for the North Pacific. Then we've got a patrol assignment. This tells you where you're going to go, which route you're going to take, based on 
different factors. So this is for Australia boats. Encounter chart. Torpedo deck gun fire charts. So most of your charts are going to be on these reference sheets. You don't have to look them up in the books. What your targets are. You roll a uh, 2d10 and get a 1 through 100 and find out what your target's going to be. So you can keep track of your log and build your career. So we've got warships, large freighters, small freighters. Uh, large freighter has A, B, and C rosters. So you probably have to roll to pick which one of those you're going to be on. That gives you more ships. Alright, so then we've got Pearl Harbor boats, patrol assignments, and a random events chart. So these are all uh, letter size, uh, you know, kind of thick cardstock. Well, kind of thin, but sturdy. So not bad at all. The uh, board seal a little bit bigger. So you got a patrol log sheet. You got a pad of those. I'm sure you can download and print them. But you'll stretch your, your patrol, and then once a month, you go out on every month, you'll go out on a patrol and you write down who you, who you might have sunk, who you encountered, and so on and so forth, build your career up. So it's a kind of a kind of an RPG kind of campaign kind of game. Um, so we have dice. We got let's see, we've got twenty. We got three sixes and two tens. So. Let's see for all the different die rolls we have. And then we've got some commander cards, it looks like. Uh, different subs. Oh, this kind of interesting. It looks like it adds abilities to your players. Here's a little history of them. They're, uh, when they were born, when they died, so on and so forth. Their rank when they started, where they started, and they have different abilities. So for example, Richard H. O'Kane. Uh, he may fire four and aft torpedoes without a two-hit penalty, and may attack at close range with a detection roll of 12. So he has that ability. And Eugene B. Flucky has a, he's nicknamed Lucky Flucky, and starts with the Lucky Rabbit's foot, and tells what kind of boat he's on. So uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Different, you know, adds a little bit of uh, realism to it. And that's it. That's what you're going to get in the box. Silent Victory from GMT Games. You're going to get the Commander cards. You're going to get six dice. You're going to get the Patrol Sheet. You're going to get one, two, three. Let's see. One. Lots of charts. Two. Three. Two maps. Four, five, six charts. Uh, what did I say? Five boat displays times two, because they're double sided. And two sheets of counters. And a 28 page rule book, about 22 pages of rules, maybe 20 if you don't count this, and the little bit that's on page 22. In a box. And that is what comes in. Silent Victory from GMT Games, designed by Gregory M. Smith. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Oh.